everybody, Bob Ostrom here from BobTeachesArt.com and today we're going to take a look at creating a soft edge when we crop in Illustrator. And so you might be thinking like, well, you know, am I really going to need this? I can do that in Photoshop, but every once in a while you're going to actually need to work with vector and it's going to be important to know how to get exactly what you want. I ran into this earlier this week when I was working with a client and I couldn't for the life of me remember how to do this. So I called up my old buddy Jesse and he said, hey, here's how it works. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. And hopefully if you run into the same situation, it'll be nice and easy for you too. So first thing that we want to do is we're going to create a new layer up top. Okay, and this layer is going to be uh, what I'm going to use for my cropping of my image here. So I'm going to switch this over to, um, let's make this white with no outline around it. So when I create this shape, it's going to be nice and easy. Now you can make a custom shape or you can make just a regular uh, shape with the shape making tool. I'm going to make something kind of custom here because, hey, that's how I roll. All right, here we go. So let's get this pencil tool here and I'm just going to kind of do something like this as I draw around here like that. Okay. And what I want to do here, let's connect this up top here. What I want to do here, there we go. All right, what I want to do here is I want to fill this shape with white. So let's go ahead and do that right now. You'll remember that I have my own separate layer for this. So, you know, sometimes um, when we're working with these things, it's nice to know where stuff is. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but if you double click on that, you can name that layer and we'll call that layer our mask. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to give this thing a fuzzy edge so that uh, we can get that nice blended look. So, I've got it selected. I'm gonna go up underneath effect. I'm going to scroll down until I see the word blur, and I'm going to select Gaussian blur. All right, here we go. And so, uh, without this preview button clicked, we don't know what we're getting, so let's take a look. There we go. And I feel like that edge could be just a little bit softer, so I'm gonna push this over to the right a little bit. We'll see how that looks. Not too bad. How about just a little bit more? This is a big image, so <laughs> it's, gonna, <laughs> it's slowing down my computer just a little bit. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I like what we've got going on here. So here's what I'm going to do next. Um, I don't need this layer down here, so let's just get rid of this thing. Now, the next thing that I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go underneath my window. I'm going to scroll down until I see the word transparency. I need this panel in order to do what I need to do, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. There's my transparency panel. Now, here comes the fun part. We're going to go ahead and select everything. All the art on all the layers needs to be selected in order for this to happen. We also need to make sure that the mask is on top. Okay, if the mask is down here underneath, it's not going to work. Uh, whatever's above the mask will not be masked. Everything below the mask is going to be affected by this. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hit Command A. If you're working on a PC, you can do Control, uh, Control A, same thing. So with my transparency panel here, you're going to notice that if we look at the upper right hand corner, there's a little drop down menu. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I want to make an opacity mask. And the reason that I want to make the opacity mask is because if I don't, it's not going to see that soft edge. Okay, so if I were to hit like Control-7 or whatever, or Command-7, that would give me a, um, a hard edge, right? So it would look at the outside line there, and, and it would crop to that line. I want this to be nice and soft, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Opacity Mask. Bang. We're going to deselect. So there you go, guys. That's how you create a soft edge crop in Illustrator. All right, if you like what you see here, come join me over at BobTeachesArt.com for a whole lot more of these.